here. And uh, I imagine there has to be some mixed emotions, you know, being able to get back out there. But then obviously you guys probably wish you, you could have gotten a win. Um, how are you feeling right now after your first game in a long time? Yeah, uh, for sure, mixed emotions. I'm a competitor. Um, you know, at all costs, I want to get a win. And we definitely got to do some work. Uh, you know, I'll look at the film and clean things up. We'll I'll look at the film and clean things up. But, you know, on the positive side, yeah, this is a big win. It's been it's been a long stretch for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take it all in and go to my room and sit with my thoughts. And the competitor in me is going to definitely try to think of ways we could have won the game. But, you know, the other side of it is I'm definitely just thankful and thankful to these guys and, for holding it down while I've been away. Thankful to the organization. Um, thank God. And yeah, just just have that joy. Mojo Mojo did an interview uh, before this and he was just like, man, there's a lot of joy in my heart right now. There's, I'm just thankful to be out here. And I just, I feel the same way, man. I'm just, while I was out there, I was just having fun. I was just having fun. Evan Barnes. Karen, was there a moment during the game where you kind of felt like, okay, things are back? Was it on that first shot where Ja hit you, or was it on that dunk where you drove to the basket in the second quarter? I, shoot, it was. It, I just felt it when I checked in the game. When, as soon as I checked in the game, I just I couldn't help but laugh a little bit. Um, just being out there in general was was the win for me. Uh, thank God that joint rolled in. You know, I always know twelves looking for me. All the guys are really, you know helping me get back in rhythm and looking for me to get to my spots. And I'm doing the same thing for them. So we'll just, we'll keep working on that. And hopefully in Portland, we come out ready. Terry Davis. Hey, Jared. Uh, welcome back, my brother. Thank you, man. Hey, man. Uh, I know you was in the playoff push last year. How does this, this season feel different than last year, getting that experience? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we just know each other better. We played with each other longer. We know each other's habits. We know each other, you know, on and off the court. Uh, so we just know each other's goals. And we we really don't, we don't feel, we, we don't have that feeling of like, um, that a team should overlook us. Uh, we have that chip on our shoulder always. We've always had that chip on our shoulder, but at the same time, uh, we feel like we should be going out there and playing with anybody. We hold ourselves to a high standard. We're hard on ourselves. You know, we think we, we want to win every game and we believe we can win every game. So that's just that's just how we are. Megan Triplett. Hey, Jaren, it was great to see you back out there. Um, I just asked Ja, what was it like to kind of see you out? And he told he told us that his message to you was just to kind of go out there and play your game. Uh, what were the other messages that the guys were saying, you know, pregame as you guys got ready to take the court? Yeah, I mean, they were just they were just telling me, man, like this ain't nothing new. Uh, I've done this before. I'm not a rookie. Um, it's it's been a little bit, but I mean, this is the game I love. The game I've been working on since I've been away. I just hasn't been in a game, so it's just putting things together. Go out there, breathing easy. You're gonna make mistakes here and there, but everyone is. It don't matter if you've been out. It don't matter if you're, you're always gonna make mistakes. But the the point of it is just to always keep pushing and keep playing hard and being there for your teammates. If it you know. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have their back. They're gonna have my back always. Brandon Abraham, Jaron, you looked uh, really healthy out there. It didn't really kind of seem like that knee was bothering you uh, at all tonight. Uh, how much credit do you give to the uh, rehab process? And uh, I know it was a long process, but you know how much do you credit that with you being able to come out and you know look really healthy tonight? Yeah, no, we have the best uh, medical team in the country uh, by far, and. They worked tirelessly to make sure I was 110%. We had a plan and we followed it. I'm so glad, you know, it went how it went. And we just wanted to make sure when I was out there, I was feeling like myself. And that, that I followed it. I felt great out there. Um, there was no, you know, none of that stuff. Um, yeah, and we're just going to keep keep going, keep moving forward, continue to work on my body, continue to do all the things while I'm playing. And, you know, for no more, no more looking back. Um, a lot of credit to them, man. I, I, they did an unbelievable job with me, and you know we were working and we were working in cohesion or a word like that. That's a big word, but yeah. John Coleman. 
Jaron Echo and everybody else, it's great to see you back. Congratulations on getting back. Um, you had mentioned while you were training and rehabbing, one of the biggest things you noticed about yourself was getting stronger. And, you know, two putbacks tonight, eight rebounds, four blocks. You certainly seem to be playing bigger. Uh, that's the first question, just how do you feel that strength certainly helped you in your first time out? And the second question is, with how well this team is shooting right now, how excited are you to get back in the fold and get some shots up yourself with Bain and Grayson and Melton and everybody else? For sure, we got a, a team full of snipers. Uh, Des, Gray, Mel, Dylan, Kyle, I mean, everybody's shooting so well. And then, you know, even Josh just has had a burner, you know, the last couple of weeks. And, but John and Tyus have always been finding us in our spots. And um, now Mojo's at the one a little bit. So he's finding us too. They're just putting it right in our pocket. So I'm just excited to be out there as well. I told him I'm joining Sniper Gang now that I'm out there. So I'm going to be ready to shoot always. You know, I didn't, I wanted to hit more today, uh, but that'll come. And uh, for sure, my, my strength was a huge thing I wanted to work on. Um, I definitely just now got to get in the rhythm of using it better on the court, using it when I need to. Uh, and that's a credit to my strength and conditioning team. And, you know, Chris Chase always got me lifting. This man's crazy, but I love it. And I'm glad I did it. It's really helped me. So now I can be physical with the bigs in there. I needed to do a better job of that tonight, but I'll learn. Like I said, I'll learn how to use it better. Thanks, Jaron. Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. That'll be it for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it.